Hello everyone, etc. here bringing you episode 20 of Sky Capsule Project, a mod pack by the Mediocre Modders. So, in the last episode, we killed the Chaos Dragon, we got the 9001 resource generator, and uh, now we're going to need to do some crazy mechanism stuff. But in my time lapse, I placed down, I made and placed down the Bazals and Blizz seeds, which means we only have two left. Refined Obsidian and Refined Glowstone, which we're going to finish today. And I made my island a perfect rectangle because it was starting to bug me that it was not well made. Made this Infinity Wong, which certainly made things so much easier. And then five chunks away, I made a Power Gen Island 1 and a Power Gen Island 2. So let's go down. And also, I put up some... Um, why don't I have some stuff? Oh yeah, I do have some. Okay, so I just got nervous for one second. So let's put all of that in the ME system for now. Don't, oh, yes, th this is my new ME system. Oh, I don't know why I just keep clicking the wrong thing in the last two episodes. Anyway, so if I come here, I wanted to show you, this brings me to the top of the Power Tower and then Power Gen 1. You know what, let's just go Power Gen 1 right here. Power Gen 2. Oh, same thing, but a bit further. Top of the Power Tower, right here. And now let's go back home. Okay, so we're officially in the end game. And uh, one, when I started the pack, oh, wrong one. When I started the pack, the end game was creative and challenge items did not exist. So let's look at the creative. So we're gonna unlock you are able to craft a limited number of creative items to make the rest of the pack a breeze. We'd advise to make good use of that tier 9001 resource generator. So it wants us to make a creative controller. If you remember, Final Star and Final Star Shard, we've already made one of each and we duped the hell out of them. Did we really need to dupe them? Well, here's why I did dupe them, okay? The Final Star Shard is made of Four Colossal Star Omega and a Nether Star. The Colossal Star Colossal Star Omega are duped are from the EMC. The Nether Star are not, but Nether Star. Oh, I have to be in the right place. Sorry, but Nether Star. Like I got 74k Nether Star. So duping them so I don't have to craft them or setting up a pattern to actually craft them. Act honestly makes no difference whatsoever. As for the final stars, well, the final stars are around the Chaos Shard, and for the Chaos Shard, I am using a 9001, because I'm not beating more Chaos Dragon, that's too long for no fun, and on top of that, if I wanted to make them, so I could, so I could make them from nine large Chaos Fragment, which I could get from nine small Chaos Fragment each, which I could get from nine tiny Chaos Fragment each, which I could get from the Chaos Honeycomb. But, oh my god, look at this. If I use a Chaos Honeycomb block, there's 1% chance that I'll get nine. It's like, this is the definition of just running a pack for hours just to get something. So I'm like, there's, there's really no point to that one. And even here, it tells us to use the 9001 but I don't wanna use it for everything. So if I come back here, this one I can already do technically because I can order these from the system without duping them. So this one's easy. I can start doing this one. This one's a bit more complicated because it needs these cubes to be charged. So I wanna get into power gen before I do this one, into more serious power gen, okay? Then the next one is creative storage upgrade. So this one is probably the first one I would like to do because technically, once I've done this one, I can just change my my um, all of my drawers to have one of these in there and just never have to worry about storage again. But again, super easy to make. Uh, although it needs a tier uh, 9001 in the middle. And the last one of this quest line is the Everlasting Guilty Pool. So this is one that we'll do in an episode where we're going to go and kill the Gaia Garden just once because I don't want to do this fight multiple times. And once we've killed the Gaia Garden, 
everything else is easy. Like the fabulous mana pool is just mana pool with Bifrost block, Bifrost block. So we'll make the rod of Bifrost, we'll kill the Gaia Guardian, like we'll do all of this in one episode. So I'll probably spend one episode on the Everlasting Guilty Pool. I'll probably spend one episode on the Creative Energy Cube. And in one episode, I'll get these two done. And the only reason, like this one, there's no point. I kind of have infinite power. But once I do it and replace my brain here, I won't need to feed it power anymore. Although it's consuming so little power that it doesn't really matter. But, you know, we have a creative item for it. So why not? But those are fairly simple. If that was only the pack, I could probably rush all of these items in one episode. Where the real challenge is, is, huh, surprise, in what's called challenge items. So I can't unlock this because I have not finished the other challenge, but I can already see them. So if I come to Creative Cat Assembly, this is the simplest one of them all, because basically it's just making a couple of cats and these cats are all super easy to make. And the huge cat socket, like none of this is complicated. Okay, so <laughs> when we want to make this, what I'll basically do is I'll create a noto crafting recipe for each and I'll just order everything that I need and then I'll put it together. But that's the simple one. This is the second simple one because it requires a couple of creative energy cube, which means I need to have done the creative power one and then just dupe them so I can do this and the rest around is easy, but that's going to make my my machine super fast in processing. So that's probably one of the early one I should do, but eh. And then we get into the four that are really problematic. And well, really problematic, somewhat problematic. The creative exchanger. So the creative exchanger is problematic because it's just a lot of crafting. All of these exchanger, which I don't even know what they do. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that basically are made from steel sheet metal and that's from steel plate so we're going to have to automate the steel plate and then we're going to have to automate like there's so many things we're going to have to to automate like resonant and it's all these levels so the resonant exchanger requires signalum exchanger which requires <laughs> reinforce exchanger which required hardened exchanger which require leadstone but it also require all these thermal exchanger which are made from ender pearl dust. Well, so just making the exchanger is going to probably an, be an episode in itself. And I don't want to get this one done, started until I have the creative flux efficiency because all of these things that we need to make these things, like if I come here, oh, uh, no, nope, that one's easy. If I come to this one, no, oh, that one's also easy. Oh, here, once we start getting into LV wire coil and creosote oil, well, the LV wire coils are made from copper wire and sticks, but the copper wire all the, can be done like this or they can be casted. So I'm probably going to set up some small smelter and just start casting the heck out of them because like, I, I don't want to dupe them. Maybe I could, but I, I don't know. I, I'm torn between just using the 9001 for everything or try to do it proper. Where it comes fun and weird are these. The creative fluid tank. So the creative fluid tank is going to just, you put one bucket of fluid in it and then it gives you that fluid forever. But to make it, we're going to need, yeah, all of these tanks of Molten Supremium and that's where duping is gonna come in. I'm gonna make just one tank of Ultimate Fluid Molten Supremium one full tank and then I'm going to dupe it because there's no way I'm melting this much Supremium. Then here I need to make liquid DT fuel, but we'll need to acquire said DT fuel. Here I need to make a tank of ether gas, which we already started when we got the laser. Then we're going to need to make a tank of herbicide. So all of these things, like when in one episode, we're going to start setting these fluid, but DT fuel requires mechanism. Herbicide, I don't even know what herbicide requires. Herbicide. Herbicide needs a mixer with copper and nitrate, and nitrate we get from crushing, from crushing um, uh, sandstone. So like that's not going to be easy. Well, it's not that it's not going to be easy. I mean, 
It's just that it's going to be long. It's going to take a little while because we're going to have to automate the crusher and get this and make the liquid. And once we start getting the liquid, like I said, once we get one tank fully full, that's where I'm going to use duping for the full tank. Same thing with DT fuel. Ether might be something different. Uh, ether takes so long that I might look into a different solution for Ether. I'm just not sure yet. Uh, then, if we come back here, we have the same thing with gas. But for gas, we need sulfur trioxide, we need sulfuric acid, we need antimatter, and we need uranium except fluoride. Which again, all mechanism things where we're going to get into fission reactor, fusion reactor, all stuff that I've never really played with in mechanism. So, that's going to be fun for sure. And finally, the last item is a Tome of Knowledge. The Tome of Knowledge is made from multiple, so Creative Fluid Tank needs to be finished, Creative Exchanger needs to be finished, Creative Flux and Creative Cap. That's why I said it's the last thing, and Creative Chemical Tank, and then the Antimatter Pellet. So once we have all of the other, that's the last one we're going to make, and the Tome of Knowledge unlocks everything in Project E. So everything that we might not have learned yet, we would unlock. I'm not quite sure if it's useful at that point because I feel like we're gonna have everything, but it's the end goal. So I feel like I have four to five episodes left in this mod pack. So I've already decided in my next mod pack, it's going to be Seopolis 2. Just want something different in the water and there's a little bit of adventuring in that one. So I, I think it's it looks very interesting from what I've tried today. So. After this episode, you'll get two episodes of Seopolis 2, episode one and two, so that you guys can put some comments, tip and tricks, and tell me what you think about the pack. And then I'm gonna alternate one day one, one day the other. And I'm going to, in the next four or five episodes, finish this mod pack, and then get to the next one. So today, I wanna get started with mechanism. And like I've told you before, from now on, everything is going to be uh, really um, pattern heavy. Everything that I need, I'm just going to make patterns for because I don't want to have to deal with uh, uh, like manual crafting what I don't need to. So let's go into mechanism. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to automate the machines. Like some we're not going to be able to make yet, I think, but let's start automating them. So I want to make a crusher, a smelter. So let's just search for it. So first, I'm going to need a crusher, the basic one, like so. And I don't have any basic control circuit, so I can't even make that one yet. So crusher, smelter, same deal. Can't make that one yet. Crusher, smelter, then we need the osmium compressor. Well, that's not like a rush, but we're going to need an osmium compressor. See, we don't have alloy. We don't have advanced control circuit. Then we're going to need electric pump. That's for the uh, heavy water. So we need that. And then we're going to need oh, electrolytic separator. But that's a two recipe recipe. So let's do this one and this one, which means we're going to have to set up some crushing, but that's going to be later. Then we're going to need a C, uh, PRC. No, so control you know what some of these machine i'll set up the recipe later because i have to research them and we're not going to use them today anyway the alloys all are made in the metallurgical infuser so yeah let's start the infu oh infuser right here perfect so let's make that one and the oh no that's the chemical infuser i don't know that i need that one so let's just grab that pattern and it, it's the metallurgical infuser that I want. Perfect. This is all coming from EMC, so not a problem. Uh, then, oh, then what else? We also need the, um, there's another machine that I'm trying to remember. It's going to be enrichment chamber. Perfect. So let's make the enrichment chamber. Okay, which we can't make because we don't have basic control circuit. So let's come right here. And what I want to do now, I want to set up uh, netherite crafters 
for every kind of material we're going to need. So this is going to be our mechanism, uh, mechanism netherite crafter. So now that we have this, I'm going to come right here and I'm going to say enrichment chamber. I want, oh no, I can't make those yet. I need some, uh, what are they called again? I need some metallurgical infuse. Oh, I already have three. Two, three. I, how do I have three? I don't, I, I don't know, but I want eight of them. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And grab all of those. Oh, Metallur met metallurgical. Let's grab the last one. And we're going to go back here where I made some space for um, oh mechanism. God. So let's put the first one down right here. And if we look at it, so first off, we're going to need an EMC link. And since everything is free now, uh, I'm just going to grab the highest one. Uh, EMC link 10, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. Grab a stack because I don't want to have to do this again. And we're going to set that right here. And we're also going to need some basic things. So pipes, uh, pipes, wrench, upgrades. Let's do this. And now we're going to need redstone. Redstone. Let's grab a redstone block. That's going to be to set up this machine. And then we can wrench and upgrade wrench and upgrade and let's see what this is doing so this is not accepting it because i have to set it up properly i want yellow from the left yellow so now perfect oh i also put some here not a problem we can just remove them and then in here show the recipe what are the first thing that we need to do it's the alloy so we can make infused alloy with iron ingot guess what another and then another connection like this yeah that's exactly what i wanted and then we can grab iron iron just one puny little ingot that we can also click on this extract full speed insert and how are you working well, there was already some power in this machine. I don't know how, but there was already power. So we're going to go right here and we're going to start power from, wait, we're going to start power from here. So now we need a energy, energy. I want to use a battery just it makes things easier. So give me an quickly, come on right here. And then I think I have some cables already and a flux point. So flux point and energy cable. So I'm going to set up that right under here. And then I'm going to put a flux point right here and select our network. And now it's going to massively drain because it needs to charge up 140 million thing. Well, that's not a problem. I'm going to turn this off because I want to make it easier to do things. And now we can just star around from this to grab power. And do I need this? I don't know if it's going to work. Let's just check that it's going to take. Yes, they can both insert from that side. Oh, no, it didn't insert. So extra. Can I? Okay, forget it. I'm just not going to complicate things. I'm just going to go like this. I would have preferred doing it another way, but that's fine for now. So then I need some drawers, drawers like so. And I'm going to set down a drawer right here. And this can be set to export from the right and auto export. So output is the blue. Oh, and it's already set to the right thing. I just need to set auto eject on and we now have infused alloy, but that's not connected to our system. So from now on, everything needs to be connected with external storage and this we're going to need a network receiver and a card. Ooh, we're on the last ones of these. So like always, I'm going to set this up fairly high so that I can always go above if I need to and just go. 
that's high enough. Okay, so let's do this and click the card on. And if I come back here, I'm just going to set up the card in the next one. Perfect. And let's go back. So now we're making alloy and we have alloy in the system, which means I think I can ask for my metallurgic, no, my enrichment chambers. So enrichment chambers, I want three, one, two, three, and no, I need the basic control circuit. Okay, so I kind of forgot one thing. So now I'm going to make the next machine. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to need to bring power right here and I'm going to make a little change immediately. So this is not pre-planned. So it's going to be a bit more complicated. So this is going to be the first two type of resource and I'm going to put a drawer right here. And so this one is going to make the, um, the osmium one. So like I said, I'm going to make a little change and I'm going to use this one to, I want to import, you know what? Oh, how can I set that up N more nicer? I'm trying to figure out how, what would be the nicest way of setting it up. You know what, let's, I'm just over complicating stuff right now. Let's just do this and we're going to need a pipe. Oh, we're going to set it to redstone. We're going to do this. I, I'm not going to care so much for beauty. I just want to make it efficient and fast. So right here, we're going to insert in yellow. Perfect. So we already got that. We need to extract this. And now we need some um, osmium. So we're going to go to an exporter and we're going to set up an exporter from the back and we're going to put a external storage on this drawer. And no, not from the back. I'm going to put this on the top. And then I'm going to go osmium, osmium, grab oh, 212K. I don't think osmium is going to be a problem. I'm going to set the osmium here. And now we need a couple of upgrades. So let's just grab all of these. I'm going to put a stack upgrade and some speed upgrade. Right now, the machine's not fast, so it doesn't really matter. But at some point, it is going to matter. Oh, I, I forgot to set the priority on this and priority on this. Perfect. And this needs to eject from the left and auto eject on. We now have basic control circuit and infused alloy. I want to lock both of these. Boom and boom and voila. So this is fully automated and we're making those fairly slowly, but we're making them. Okay, so now that we have infused alloy, we're going to want to set up the other level because, oh, just one second, do this. And remove this because it's a bit in the way. Let's put this and we're just going to go and do something. Okay, so we need to go set up some more recipes. So let's go back here. And now that we have the alloy, so these, these have more levels and the other levels are crafted. So the next level of this is crafted. Don't make a liar out of me. They're crafted. Oh my God. Control circuit. Yes. So this one is crafted from two infused alloy. So we can make that recipe. The next one is crafted from two reinforced alloy, but those need metallurgical infusion. Then the last level is also crafted, but again, the atomic alloy is made from another thing. So let's go back here, show these three new recipe here, and let's go and continue our setup. So now that we're back here, we're going to need to make more lines. So I'm gonna need some more like I don't want to take this alloy. I want all lines to be independent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a metallurgical infuser and place it here. And I'm going to bring the same piping 
like this and like this. So technically, so that's going to be the next line and that's going to be the next next line. Perfect. Okay, so now I need to set these up properly. So this is going to be the yellow and we're going to put auto eject on, remove that, same thing. Go this one to the yellow and auto eject on and remove these. And now this is just clogging my system. <laughs> Let's get rid of these things. Perfect. Oh, one more, this one, perfect. So now we have three lines producing these uh, stupid alloy, these uh, first level alloy. Now we want to make the next level. So if I search for alloy here, which is going to make it easier, alloy. The second one needs to be passed into a met metallurgical infuser, but with some diamond. Now, diamond are a bit more expensive, and as you see, it needs crushed diamond. So enriched diamond is made in an enrichment chamber with no crushing. So it's much easier that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. Oops, <laughs> this pickaxe is a bit too strong. So we're going to open this up this way and that way. And we're going to set a drawer here to start getting those. We're going to need one more like so. We're going to need a drawer here and another and. Um, Wait, 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 so the diamond goes, no, I didn't do the right thing. Not this one, not this one, this. The diamond goes into an enrichment chamber also. Perfect, so enrichment chamber, like so. And then we're going to put a link uh, right here, like so. With an export, I need the pipe and upgraded and now we need a diamond so a diamond like this and we're going to just click on this and start exporting diamonds perfect and now we need this one to oh no an enrichment chamber sorry guys and did i make my enrichment chambers oh all of my keybinds are weird right now enrichment chambers no i never made them so let's make three now that we have these basic control circuit and let's place down this right here and this one needs to receive diamonds so red rear blue output auto eject and so this is going to start making the uh, enriched diamond that are going to go right here and ah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I set all one too close. Ooh. Okay, so what I need right here, and I should have set that up before, is I need a metallurgical infuser right here. And then I'm going to put a pipe here and a pipe there. Whoa, and then my drawer comes here, and then my other machine comes here. Okay, and then my other machine comes here, the enrichment chamber. And then I need my mark for the diamond and another pipe. Then I need the diamond to reset this. And I need the upgrades and the wrench. And now I can go like this, upgrade, like this, upgrades, up. And just lock this drawer, lock this drawer like this and upgrade and now we're going to put the drawer on top for this one and if I come here I just need to set this one to receive the yellow this one to be eject and auto eject on so now diamond gets pumped in here and fill this it's going to at some point it's going to catch up you just need to give it a little bit of time and we're going to upgrade these machines anyway so we now have our first reinforced alloy that I can go clickety-click and external storage on top, priority 30, 
and let's connect this with cables. So now we already have this in our system. I come here and I search for alloy. We now have the next level of alloy. Then, 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 we're going to need to do the same thing again because we're going to go to the next line like this and go perfect another metallurgical infuser and this one we're going to catch from the others like this and oh no this one I, there's some things that are used more and I want them to be straight direct so this is going to be straight direct and it's going to go into this perfect this one this so this once this is full like it's going to not require as many so now I'm going to right click and I'm going to set this one to round robin it's gonna put one in here and then one in here and this one so we need to make yellow from the side and nope output that's the back output from the back and that's also going to make the same reinforced alloy so I'm just gonna wait for one and then for the last the atomic alloy or the atomic alloy come on we're going to need another machine right here uh yeah a metallurgical infuser like this don't forget to lock the drawer extract and upgrade the speed so this and it already goes in the right spot but now this is problem well it's not problematic but it's missing something else so to make atomic alloy we need enriched obsidian how do we get enriched obsidian we get enriched obsidian with a machine and enrichment chamber. So I'm going to put a drawer right here and I'm going to put an enrichment. I need to grab my enrichment chambers. I thought I made three enrich. Oh, I did. I just didn't wait to collect them. So I'm going to put an enrichment chamber right here. This enrichment chamber needs to receive, uh, needs to receive refined obsidian dust. You get refined obsidian dust in a metallurgical infuser so now we're going to go and put another metallical infu me metallurgical infuser right here and we also need some of these little diamonds so once more we come like this and because of the magic of round robin if i set this side to yellow we'll also get one of these at some point Okay, this, that machine's not fast, but like I said, this is going to get resolved. Oh, we already have some, and you can just... Oh, no, I can't put these directly. Okay, so this is set, and ooh, we need to get refined obsidian dust, which you get from obsidian dust, and obsidian dust you get from obsidian. In an, an, enrich, in an enrichment chamber. So, another enrichment chamber right here. Now we're going to need to power these little boys so this and let's grab power from back there I hate that it's it's so powerful it's crazy well I don't hate it I just hate that I haven't gotten used to it and I'm not being careful right now so this and this and this perfect so like I was saying, this needs obsidian, and surprise, surprise, obsidian is super simple. And I'm going to put a drawer right here, and EMC link right there, and then pipe, upgrade, wrench, and I need obsidian. Obsidian, like so. And then I can click this, perfect. So now we're getting, nope, we're not getting, we need to reverse the input so this is the input this is the output auto eject wait what obsidian in an enrichment chamber oh derpy derp now it's working perfect 
which is going to go into this chest. Come on. Yep, and then we can lock this chest. And then we're going to set that one to extract. And now we need to set red on this side and output on the top. And voila, we've got refined obsidian dust. So refined obsidian dust is something that I want accessible from my system. So I'm gonna set this to 30 and I'm going to connect it to the system. So if I come back here with cables, I said with cables, like so. This is now connected, perfect. So now we have refined obsidian. Uh, the obsidian dust, I really don't care about. Let me just grab, no, nope, I can't grab one. And eh, whatever. I don't think I can do much of anything with it. So this is supposed to be making this. And why is it not, what is it missing? Oh, it's missing these, uh, okay, perfect. So now, because of that, th this is a bit complicated. Uh, because of the complexity of the system right now, of how it's placed, and that I didn't think of things properly, I'm going to export, put an export right here. So I'm gonna set this one up to receive stuff from the top and output to the left. And I'm going to grab one of these and I'm going to say, I want to export this in it lock the barrel before because it's going to empty the barrel and this is going to be my final product so I want an external storage on this one which I'm going to set to priority 30 and now I can connect everything with cables the weirdest way possible like this and this this is powered I need this right here in my wrench and an upgrade, oh, lock, 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 yes, perfect. And now I can wrench, no, I can upgrade this. And this machine should accept yellow from this side and output from the top with auto eject on. And we're starting to make progress and we're going to have a year, our first highest tier, perfect. So now we have all three tiers of alloys connected to our system and the first tier of control circuit, which means we can now work on some more recipe and some important recipe that is. So now I want to upgrade these machines. So if I come here, there are these tier installer. I'm going to make tier installer one, tier installer two, tier installer three, and tier installer four. And I'm gonna come back right here, show these all in here. And you know what, let's just, because I don't wanna to waste too much time, let's go with tier installer. And the first levels are the green one and they use, so let's make 20 of those. Perfect. Then the second levels are blue. So let's make 20 of those. No, I'm missing. So I need more of the reinforced alloy. So we're going to come back here and we're going to go reinforced alloy is this line. Install, install, install. So now we're gonna set auto sort. We're producing three times as fast this, three times as fast this, and three times as fast this. Now we're going to start getting some reinforced alloy pretty easily. While we're here, might as well just do this and this on and on. And we're basically going to apply this to all of the machine on. On. Same here. On. Already three times as fast. Everything. And so now that I've done the auto sort, I won't have, when I upgrade to the next tier, I won't need to make the auto sort 
because it's already set with auto sort. Now I'm going to come back here and say tier installer 2. So tier, in, tier installer, basic, so it's basic, advanced, elite. Oh, it's the red first. So 20 of the red one. Huh. Missing 19. So even though I tried to make this, see how it's compounding? Like this is where the problem, you know what? Let's just order three and we'll order 17 later. And the reason we're going to order three is that we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna go, these are the things that we need the most. Boom and boom. So now five in a row. So let's go back, you know what? And boom. Now we can go back to tier installer, tier installer, and I'm going to try to make three elite. Oh, I can. Wow. And those I'm pretty sure I won't be able, but let's try three ultimate. Ooh, I can. Oh, that's kind of like in the beginning because I'm missing the resources. Now I can do this, this, and this, and this, this, and that. And now look at this. This is the maximum that each machine can do. Power is not a problem, so everything's good. So now that we've done that, I can come back to tier installer. And technically, I should be able to order the other 17. Yes, I can. Grab these, and can I grab the next 17 of these? No. So like it's, it's kind of a, a part by part upgrade game where I just need to mass produce more of everything else and the more I get the faster so you're going to say that I could put this in the 9001 but there are some things that I'm just setting up as basic resource that I, I don't want to 9001 I don't really have a good reason for it just that like if I don't want to be that every time I need something go to, t to the tier 9001. I need something else, go to the tier 9001. It, it just, eh, it feels cheesy and for simple resource for no reason. Okay, so now that all of this is made, we're going to need to make this better. So we're going to come back here and we're going to need to up our game a little bit. So now I want another enrichment chamber. Don't know that I need it, but what I'm going to be doing right now is setting up some automation. I'm going to need a crusher. Oh, I already have a crusher. So let's grab the crusher. I need a smelter. Uh, I do have smelters, but I want an energized smelter for the mechanism stuff. Then I want a, so we have this, I want an osmium compressor. I think that's the last machine that I want for now. And then we're going to come right here and we're going to go, uh, I'm going to need some netherite crafter. Where are my netherite crafters? Right here, perfect. So we're going to go and set up osmium compressor right here, energized, uh, no, sorry, not like that. Just give me a second because I'm gonna need power for all of these. So like this. And yeah, I'm going to get the power through there. You know what? Yeah, that's... No, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm going to put the importers under. So I'm going to need some importer. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to... No, I need the other magic wrench. This one. Perfect. And then I need to upgrade all of those. So I'm gonna put one stack up, one stack upgrade three. Oh. So better just to click them like this and like this. And then this one and this and the last one, this one and then this, perfect. So now I can go enrichment chamber, crusher, Energized Smelter and Osmium Compressor. And I'm going to set all of the, these to export from the bottom. 
and nothing. So, oh, energy from the back. And then from the top is the input. Perfect, input, crusher, same thing, input, nothing, nothing, energy from the back, nothing from the front, and output at the bottom, auto eject, sorry. Don't forget the auto eject, auto eject. Same for this, uh, nothing from both side, nothing from the front, output, auto eject. And the final one, osmium compressor. So input from the top, um, power from the back, nothing from the sides. And eject blue from the bottom. Perfect. So now I can do, I need to do power. Just going to move you back, grab some power. And let's order another nitro energy cube, nitro. Come on. Perfect. And we're going to put this right here. So all of these machines should be powered. And now we're going to go upgrade and upgrade. So they're double upgrade. I'm going to turn all of these on. These might, like the smelter on this, might end up better than this smelter, but eh. It's what's done is done. The magical stuff is automated this way and that is automated the other way. Now I need my special wrench. And we're going to need to connect these together with a cable. And connect this with a cable. And voila. So now we should have all, ugh, all of these upgraded. So now we're going to make some new level of upgrades. So we're going to come right here and I want some upgrades. I want some speed upgrade and speed upgrades requires osmium dust. So I'm going to teach it how to make osmium dust right here. Then I need some energy upgrade right here. And I need to teach it how to make gold dust in a crusher right here. Then I want some muffling upgrade because I don't like the noise of these machines. So I, I like to just make them quiet. I need to crush some steel. And um, the filter upgrade, honestly, I'm going to need to make one for the heavy water. But I told you from now on, I kind of want to automate everything. So I'm just going to do this. So now this is the crushing factory. I need to put the crushing recipe in here and I'm going to go back to my mechanism crafter right here and do this. And now let's grab some upgrades. We're going to come right here and I'm going to ask for some speed upgrade. So I'm going to ask for a stack of this start. And this machine is going to start slowly producing them, which is okay because I'm going to come back here. And the moment I have eight, I'm going to grab all eight because that's the maximum you can install. So the reason it made five super fast is that whenever the crusher's done, it produces five. So now I can come in here and install eight speed upgrade. So now this is already faster. Speed. And it's done. So now let's make some energy. So the energy are not that required, but they make the machine less expensive. And I still feel like I have to be a little bit careful with my power. So let's make the energy upgrade. And of course, the reason we made these eight is we're gonna go eight. Oh, you can shift right click, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. Shift right click, shift right click, shift right click. Now look at this. And let's come back. I'm just going to this and come back here and grab some speed i don't even know i think i don't have enough i think i'm gonna have to make more speed upgrade speed upgrade yeah i'm gonna need some more so then i'm going to speed and speed i need eight 16 more oh, i need more than that so speed upgrade i'm gonna ask for another stack because it's always good to have some available then i'm gonna look for the energy upgrades And I'm going to try to be cheap and go eight, eight, 
8, which is going to cost on the energy cost. And 8, perfect. If I come back here and I look at my upgrades, okay, where is this stuck? There's a bottleneck somewhere and I don't know what it is. So if I come back here, uh, the gold dust. Oh, this machine ran out of power. <laughs> um, power, please. <laughs> okay, so that's easily explainable. Now I understand. I was kind of confused for a moment, but so I'm gonna grab one, two, three. Oh, that's one too many, but I want to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Perfect. And now if I come back here, so this is upgrades. Uh, let's grab the speed upgrade and the energy upgrade. So energy upgrade, I'm gonna make another stack, start. And then the muffling upgrade, I'm just going to make one stack. So energy, 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 because Oh no, those are speed. I still want to put energy upgrades because like power is power. If you can be more efficient, there's no reason not to be. So now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to continue. Is there some more? This one? Yeah. And then this one. This one was done, this one was done, perfect. So we're done with the energy upgrades. So now I need some, uh, no, not energy. We're done with the speed upgrade, now we need the energy upgrades. Let's go. This and this. Uh, what about this machine? Yeah, this machine's already done. I think they're all done. I'm just making one last pass to make sure. Yes, perfect. So now the last one are the muffler upgrades. I gotta stop putting things in here. I don't know how I'm going to train myself, but maybe I could just change the key binding. That would probably be the easiest solution because I didn't put a key binding for my wireless crafting thing. So all of this and now muffler, because, well, to be honest, because I modified my sound, they're not as bad as I'm used to them being. And you know what? These one, I'm going to leave the sound. I'm going to take the sound away from these so that once I'm here, I don't hear these. So now these are absolutely silent and will not make a single sound. Ah, <sighs> perfect. So now back to tier installer. We should be swimming enough in resource that tier installer are no longer a problem. Tier installer. So I need 20 of these. And 20 of these. Yes, we can make everything. This is epic. So now I'm going to go next tier for this and final tier. So now these are all elite. And, oh, I already made, ooh, so I made too many elite. Elite, elite, elite. Ultimate, 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 and ultimate. Perfect. And then let's just be in the easy position to access. So elite, 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 elite. Ultimate, 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 and ultimate. And now if I look at this, oh, yes, this is really making the it's making the resource faster that they can be auto outputted to the drawer oh no it's that the drawer is at max already okay so there are some drawers that i want to upgrade but not all of them so let's come right here and grab some upgrades and grab some diamonds upgrade so basically this one and this one this one this one so one resource two resource three resource four resource everything that has an external storage i want to fully upgrade the rest 
they don't matter to me. So now I can show that back in the system, get rid of these things, and this, and this, and this. Perfect. So we've automated everything that I wanted to automate in mechanism uh, for now. Let me check my things and we've upgraded. So the tier upgrades are automated. The upgrades are automated. The tier installers are upgraded. All levels of these are done. Okay, so next thing I wanna do is we're gonna start needing some ultimate fluid tank. So that's another couple of patterns that we need to set. So let's go to tank. So we need to make a recipe for the first level and then the first level upgrades into the second level, which upgrades into a third level, which guess what? Upgrades into a fourth level. And that one's the ultimate fluid tank. There's nothing about that. So now we can do this. And we can come right here and say ultimate. And we can say, I want 10 of these. Start. And voila, they're just crafted. But we need to make energy cubes too. So let's make the same thing with the energy cube. So energy cube, we're going to need the basic energy cube, which requires a mechanism casing. It, we need these batteries, then we need the second level, then we need the third level, and then we need the fourth and final level. Did I make all of them? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then, well, the creative is something that we'll get to later. So now, technically, we can get started with the cube. So I'm going to order... 10 ultimate cube, ultimate, just give me 10 of these, which, oh, I need to put the recipe for the energy tablet. I thought I wasn't able to, so I got surprised for a moment. So if I go, nope, not these, these, give me 10 of these. Wait, what? Energy. Nope, sorry, these, uh, what the heck are they called? Energy. Energy. Did I not make? I'm pretty sure I made it, but okay. R. Nope. R. Make this. Yes. Let's come back here. Show that in there. I don't know what happened. That was a derp. Let's just do this and 10 and start. So basically for the ultimate battery, we needed these, but we needed these charged. So if I come back here now and I do this, uh, it's already fully charged. Well, okay. So I guess that's not gonna be a problem. It's just a question of placing them down and charging. But technically, now, if we go back to the quest line and we come back here to creative, we should now be able to make this because basically to do this, we just need these many of each cube and we just need to charge them. What I don't like about it though, is I don't like that I need to uh, charge them manually. So there's one thing I wanted to check. So ultimate, if I go like this to ultimate uh, and I grab one, can I do battery inception? Can I put a battery in to charge it? Yes, I can. Okay, step two. Step two, I'm gonna need an external, an exporter like this. And I'm going to put an exporter right here and an importer on the other side, importer right here. And so does this have NBT? Exact mode on, yes. Whitelist. So I'm just going to wait for this to be finished. 
102.4. Yes. If I go here and I say this, and then I set this cube to eject on, I, ooh, I don't know what side is what. Um, this one, maybe? Okay, so let's try it again. So now I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna go ultimate, and I'm gonna grab an empty one, and I'm gonna go on this one, put this and say exact mode on, item perfect, and then I'm going to connect these things. Will it put, so I have to say that this is items input from the top. So why is this not exporting? Oh, because it's not in it. Oh, because once they go. Energy. So ultimate. No, sorry. Let's search for ultimate. Ultimate. This won't be charged. Zero. Perfect. Yes. Oh, my God. I think I've automated energy charging. Oh, this is so cool. And I don't want any uncharged batteries, right? I only want charged batteries. So I'm going to just put this one here because oh, it's already charged. So this is obviously much faster, but this is working automatically. So now I'm just going to go in here show all of these in there. And I just want to make sure that once it's finished, it gets imported. So let it continue. And it's a perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, in my time lapse, do the same thing for every level of batteries. And the reason is that when we make this, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 basic. So I'm going to make 14 basic. Then I'm going to make, like I'm going to make enough of every one that I need. So this is one, two, three, four, five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So if I come here in wireless crafting and I say ultimate and I say that, oh, Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for these to be full. See these two? Oh, so when you place it down, it doesn't have the same NBT, I guess. So the problem is I don't wanna take them in my inventory to start the next one, but I'm going to set up the other and I'm just basically going to make the one that I need so that I can automatically grab them and I'm gonna put everything to go and charge. And you know what I'm going to do? I might set one for each, nah. It doesn't really matter. It's going to happen over time in my time lapse. But great. So that's going to be fully automated. And we're going to be able to make the ultimate energy cube. So what I'm going to do in the next episode is I'm going to get rid of these three quests, but we're going to get started on other things. So in the next episode, we're going to get started on at least one fluid and at least one gas. Like I'm going to prepare a list and I'm going to call the episode that. I'm going to call it mechanism, brine and DT fuel or something like that. And also the creative quest that I'm going to make so that if you want to check one specifically, you can just go to that one. So we're going to end the episode right here on this nice setup that we made. And is there a better view? Kind of like this. And I'm going to go in my time lapse and I'm going to automate the batteries, all levels of batteries, so that we're ready to make the ultimate battery the next time. With the ultimate battery, technically, we won't need to use the flux point anymore. Everywhere where I have a flux point, I just can make a creative ultimate battery and just set it there and forget it because it's never going to run out of power again. And we're going to get started on some basic fluids that we need for mechanism and some basic gas. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.